modern technology. Right. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> you you call them, talk to them, they uh, or you send the text message, you send the email, right? Mm -hmm. And then what do you talk? What do you talk? How's the weather? <laughs> How is the weather? What uh, food do you eat? Uh, you, you have uh, some purpose of that you no, want to give a message, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You call, you have a... Uh, Checking on them. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have a, uh, something that you want to deliver or this is my plan or this is my idea. So through speaking, or through written letter, uh, you reveal your purpose, mm -hmm. your goal, your intention. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, so it's the word uh, you speak. It's the word you write. Reveal yourself, and then. Through word, through speaking, mm -hmm. you communicate with others. Mm -hmm. Others. The same. God communicate with us. He does his business through word. word, his word, or through his speaking. So let there be light, and there was light. light. So through his speaking his word, and then through his word, he spoke to the prophets. You go to Israel, tell them to repent. Then the prophet went and then delivered God's words. So through his speaking, or wrote it down. This is the written message, the written word of God. So through his written message, he communicate with us. So it's the word. It's through speaking, God reveals his plan, his intention, his goal, <coughs> you know, or his emotions. So uh, it is the word God communicate with us and do his business. Mm. Question two. Who is the word? God. Okay, let's read the verse God one is. and two. In the beginning was the, the word. word. And the, the word, word was, was with God. God. And, and the, the word was God. He was with God, God in the beginning. beginning. So who is the word? Jesus Christ. He was with God in the beginning. So here, he was with God. He was God. So who is he? Jesus. Jesus. So the word is like Jesus' nickname. Instead of they putting Jesus, I put the word. So uh, when I replace the word, in the beginning was Jesus, and Jesus was with God, and Jesus was God. Jesus was with God in the beginning. Like okay, question three. Uh, what was... What was between one uh, chapter one verse two and chapter one verse three? Two and three. He was with. He was in the. Nothing. Actually, all things were made through him. Uh -huh. All things were made through him, uh -huh. and without him was not anything made uh -huh. that was made. 
So it is a, there is a huge gap between verse 2 and 3. Because verse 1 and 2 describe eternity. Jesus in eternity with God. Verse 1 and 2 is before the creation of this world. Jesus was in eternity with God. Jesus, verse 3, jumps the creation. So Jesus, uh, verse 3, is uh, after creation, all things made through Jesus. There is nothing that was made without Jesus. So, uh, clearly separate. The author of John's Gospel clearly separate verse 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Separate. Because 1 and 2 is in eternity. 3 and 4 is after creation. Question 4. Who is Jesus in? Who is Jesus in verse 3? Chapter 1, verse 3. Oh, chapter 1, verse 3. Creator. Yeah, exactly. He is the creator. He is not, Jesus is not creature. Mm. He, Jesus is the creator. All things were made through Jesus. Jesus. So he is the creator. So, so far, verse 1 and 2, Jesus was God before creation. Verse 3, Jesus is creator, the creator. Okay, question five. What does the chapter one fourteen explain about the birth of Jesus? Can you 14. read the verse 14? Okay. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of, of the one and the and the only, who came from the Father, for all grace and truth. Yeah. So, what does it explain about the birth of Jesus? Jesus came from the Father. Right. Jesus' birth was not creation. He is, his birth is incarnation. God became flesh. Is incarnation. So, eternal God, eternal God became human being. Eternal spirit became flesh, human being like us. It's like uh, uh, we become what? Ant. Ant. Or we become a uh, cat or something. Uh, totally in a different, different. So. Transform. Transform. No, not transformed. Okay, so incarnation is not transformation. It's more like change, more like change, a temporary change or change substance. No, he's still God. So he's still hundred percent God, but he became, became a human being to be close, to be among us, yeah. to be among us. Mm -hmm. So, question six. What is the source of life? In him was life, and the life was the light of man. So, Jesus was life. Jesus is life. 
So in him was light. In Jesus was light. In him was light. So this one is in Jesus light. Is it okay? Yes. Yeah? In Jesus. How about this one? In word in the in the words was light. Is it okay? Yes. Yeah? This light, this life is not, it's not like a, just being alive, you know. Just being alive. It's like, a, you know, animals are alive, birds are alive, and like that. Uh, it doesn't mean that one. This life is that gives light to men. The light in him gives spirit. Gives light to men. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. Yeah. Some, some, you know, some men's life give us really darkness. <coughs> oh, this uh, very give us uh, hopelessness, darkness. But some life gives us light. So Jesus' life gives us light. Uh -huh. And so it's a it's a different the light that in Jesus the light that is in the word in the word of God. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> question seven. The light shines in the darkness. Why has not the darkness <coughs> responded to the light? Let's read the verse five all together. The light shines shine in, in the darkness. The darkness has not understood it. So, the light shines in the darkness. What does it mean? Jesus came down to this world. Right. Yeah. Jesus came into this world. And then he's a shine. He gives light. He's a shining. But the darkness has not understood it. So question seven, says Rebecca. Why has not the light happened? <coughs> this one is the light. Okay. The darkness. Did not realize light. Mm. Oh, oh that is connected be with the light. Okay, okay. Hate. Jesus came, and he gives light. <coughs> he gives light and shine. But the people did not, they are in darkness.
They did not. Understand. They did not understand. So this is a, uh, another word. They did not comprehend. <coughs> they did not comprehend. They didn't understand. Why Jesus giving instead of receiving? You know, they all want to receive. When they want a uh, free gift, but Jesus said, give instead of receiving. They didn't understand why Jesus was tortured and died on the cross. Nobody want to do that. They, under they don't understand. So, which side has a problem? Jesus has a problem or they have a problem? And see, they yes. couldn't communicate. Darkness. <laughs> huh? Darkness. They have a problem. A problem. Uh, they have a problem. You know, I, I, my computer has a, a Windows 7. But somebody sent me good program through Windows 10. I cannot receive it. You know why? <laughs> I have no way to receive it. Then you upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I will. But they need to upgrade their mind. Because in their heart, they don't have receptor. They don't have a way to receive it. They have a they are created in the image of God. Every man, woman was created in the image of God. So they have an ability to know. They have an ability to know Jesus. But what happened to them? By sin. By sin. This is diminished. have been losing the image of God in them. So even though God came and the light shines in the darkness, but they didn't understand. They couldn't comprehend. So it's not Jesus. It is. They have a problem in their heart. They have a, their heart is impaired. What does impaired mean? Not perfect, can't see. Damaged. Yeah. Yeah, their heart is damaged. So they cannot yeah. receive the light. You know, when I worked in the hospital, the smokers, uh, the smoking all, you know, long time. At the end of their life, they come to hospital. But their lung, their lung has been damaged. So they cannot breathe. And then we give them oxygen. They cannot absorb because the lung has been damaged. So there is air in the atmosphere so much unlimited amount of air, but they cannot take it because the lungs are damaged, the light lung. Jesus came from heaven and he was shining in the but people in darkness, their heart damaged by sin. Their heart is damaged, so they cannot understand. They cannot understand. They cannot receive the light from Jesus. Uh, 
Question eight. What is the darkness in man? What is the light in man? Darkness is man's sin and light in man, the image of God. So let's think about darkness. <clears throat> and then light. Darkness of what is darkness? It's, it's a sin. I sin damage. The, What is the light? Image the image the or impair the heart. I I you know observe this one. This is a. Uh, uh, Really, darkness, darkness uh, trapped in own thought. Could it also be heart? Huh? Could it also be heart or emotions or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trapped, trapped, trapped in own thought. So, the mind is like uh, inside a prison cell. It's a, it's a trap. You know, when the one's mind is trapped in own way of thinking, they cannot they cannot see themselves. Selves. And then they cannot see others. Cannot see. Cannot see others. So it's a darkness. Thick darkness. Light, light is the <coughs> people who comes in such darkness, they come to the light. They come to the light, how? By the divine word, by the divine word. Listen to word of Jesus. They can see, is able to see others outside, able to see outside, able to see others. By the word of God, by the divine word, is able to see inside inside can see wow I've been thinking in the wrong way I've been thinking you know my idea was wrong oh can see inside and can see outside. So light, light start to shine into their heart.
when we see when we see study it is uh, more chapters and here is the law law and here is grace so you know own law own law will make trip us in own thinking it's a grace so then after i became a christian several years i was under the law so christian life was so heavy so trouble and finally came out of the law and went in grace so it's Christian life is so happy, joyful. And also, darkness, remaining darkness, is the own interpretation of God's words. Of God's words. They interpret God's words in a physical way. So, God's words is a spirit. Jesus said, my word is a spirit. For example, this is Israel failed and then they went into historical darkness because they interpreted Jesus' word in the physical way. For example, Jesus said, uh, destroy this temple and I'll raise it in three days. So when Jesus said destroy this temple, his mm. temple meant Jesus body. his body. But the Jewish people interpreted it as a big temple. temple. Yeah, big temple. So they missed the meaning of it. So when we miss interpretation in own way then we remain in darkness so the word of god the word of god teach us free us free us and then lead us to grace and blessing after blessing so we we say this stubborn stubborn you know Stubborn and just cannot come out, come out and remain in darkness. So then we can, by the divine word of God, we that person is able to see eternal word. Eternal word and God's love to see God's love. God's love, God's word, God's love. This is darkness. Living like this is darkness. And this is the light. Okay, question nine. What did God do to help people come to the light? Chapter 1, 6 to 9. Uh, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify, to testify conquering their light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Okay. So, so, even though the light has come and shining, and then people's mind was damaged and cannot see the light. So, 
Chassend. Witness. Chassend. Witness. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. To help those, to help people in darkness, people in hardship. So, John Cassandra. Uh, in order to be a witness, in order to be the witness, Jesus is the light. Jesus is the true light. John should know who Jesus is, right? He just is this. So when God sent John as a witness, God gave John revelation about Jesus. John was more, God revealed to John more about Jesus more about Jesus, and then more revelation, revelation. John has more knowledge about Jesus. So, Sometimes God gives a certain person more knowledge about Jesus. You know, because God wants us, use us as a witness. Mm -hmm. So John saw spirit coming upon Jesus. So he, he would God revealed to John more about Jesus so he can witness to people. All right. Next question, question 10. What did John testify concerning the light? Chapter 1, 15. John testified concerning him. He carried out saying, this was he of whom I said, He who comes he comes up me has has surpassed me because he was before me. About Jesus. He who comes after me is greater than I am, right? Yeah. So Greater, he is greater. He is a superiority, super, greater than I am. Because, you know, John himself is prophet. John himself was prophet and people was thinking, is he the Messiah? Is he the Christ? Because uh, he, he was uh, uh, like uh, equivalent to prophet Elijah. He was so powerful. But he said, uh, he who comes after me is greater than I am. So he is super greater. And then because, because he was before me, he was prior to me. He was before me. Now, Jesus was before me. Who comes after me? He was before me. What does it mean? Uh, what verse is it? Let's read it. 15. Let's read it. 
15 altogether. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This was to whom I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. So, what does it mean? He was before me. He is eternity. Yeah, yeah. Before John. Okay. John was born. Present. <laughs> and past. John's birth. And then. Before John. Jesus' birth. Jesus', Jesus birth. birth. Uh, how late on? About six months. About Jesus was born about six months later on. Okay, Alan. Uh, <laughs> between your brother and you, how how many? <laughs> Uh, 16 months. Huh? 16 months. 16 months. <laughs> okay. 16 months. Great. All right? But Jesus was born six months later than John. So who is older? John. John is older, right? But John said, He is greater than I am because he was before me. So how can Jesus who was born after him can be before him? He was there before John. John's birth. Right. That's not quite correct. Okay, Jesus was Jesus, your brother was born after you. But how can your brother be before you? <laughs> how? Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard. <laughs> he was a God, he is an everlasting God. Right. Mm -hmm. Jesus was in the beginning. He was with God. He was God. Yeah. So even though Jesus was born after John, he is before John. him yeah. in the beginning. So Jesus is God. And that was his testimony too. Testimony. So he 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 is God. He is Jesus is God. That was his testimony. And so this one even though Jesus was younger than he was, he, he lifted up Jesus as a God, superior God. Why is this testimony so strong? It is very strong testimony, you know, because he lifted up Jesus. Mm. And then all Israel people thought, wow, who is greater person than John the Baptist? So because John honored him, he must be really greater person like that. So that's the effective way we witness Jesus. People mind is damaged, so cannot know Jesus. We say, Jesus is God and he is, you know, your savior, but they don't know. But when we kneel down before Jesus, like this, and then, wow, that person kneel down before Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then there was, uh, you heard George Miller. There is uh, George Miller. He is uh, German, but he worked in England. And he was like a regular uh, young man, you know. He has a superficial Christian life and then uh, going around with a friend and not really a uh, new Jesus, a superficial Christian. Well, one time he went to prayer meeting and he was shocked because in there people knelt down pray. 
he never saw this in his life. Wow! How can man kneel down before God? He was shocked, changed his life. It became a strong testimony, you know, because in that prayer meeting, people all humbled themselves, made Jesus superior, greater God. They honored God, you know, and so that, you know, gave the strong testimony. George Miller's heart was totally changed at the scene of the Christians praying on their knees because he never seen them. He never seen them. So John's testimony, we want to, we want to uh, testify about Jesus. We kneel down before Jesus. We obey Jesus' word. We obey. Everybody disobey. We obey Jesus. Then, wow. Even though that person lose money, job, and everything, still follow Jesus' word. That gives strong testimony. That was John's testimony. And he died to testify Jesus. So how strong testimony was. John was the first witness, Jesus. John was the first witness, Jesus, before disciples. And after that, 12 disciples were witnesses of Jesus. And after that, many, many pastors, Bible teachers, and missionaries, many became. John was the first witness of Jesus. And God sent him. God sent him to testify about Jesus. Uh, question 12, uh, 11. What is the opposite of the truth? I, to, I added the question 11. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the up? Let's read that verse, verse 9. Let's read verse 9 together. The, the true, true light, light that gives light, light to every man was coming into the world. world. What is the true light? Not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Except Jesus. Other light or opposite. <laughs> okay. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. So now we know Jesus is the true light. He is the real light. Then uh, what's the opposite? Fake. Yeah, yeah, fake light. Dim light. <laughs> okay, dim light is good. <laughs> dim light is good. You know, we devote, we devote our life for something. For what? For our hope. For our hope. We devote ourselves. Big light, dim light, what's the end? Death. 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 Because the light was fake. The light was dim. Right now, I'm studying Russian history, and that is so fascinating. I study and I give a test to myself, <laughs> and I take a test. Uh, there was a, one very impressive story, Elijah, uh, Empress Elizabeth. She, she appointed one minister, and then he was like a diplomat. So 
he was so excellent diplomat. He negotiated with the France. He negotiates with the England. He negotiates with the you know German and all this. He brought all the benefit to Russia, you know, empire. So under his job, uh, the Russian empire really uh, grew. And then the end of his life, death. death. The end of his life. He, he, there was no clear uh, crime, but he was sentenced. He became a criminal, sinner. And then he was uh, sent to his hometown as a sinner. And there, they didn't say why, why he is a sin, nothing. So he died like that. So, you know, the most noble thing is we serve our nation, serve our nation. And at the end, then the, the people who are jealous of him, who, you know, uh, conspire against him like that, that's the end, it's death. But he's not the only one. I watch lives of people, lives of people. They, did, they think dim light, big light, is true light. But the end, life is plunged to death because it's not true light. Jesus, when we serve Jesus, when we follow Jesus, he gives us light. Yes. He gives us light. He yes. takes us to the kingdom of God. He gives us eternal yes. life. Um, Jesus doesn't give us a paycheck. So <laughs> we use our time, we use our money like that. So. It looks like we are losing it, but no. Jesus is the only true light. And never betray us like this, never. Those, you know, who put their hope in children, you see children grow. Against their parents. <laughs> they will go their own way. I mean, I, I saw so so many, I endless, endless. And then, uh, anything is a fake light, dim light, not true light. True light is only Jesus, only Jesus. And then Jesus does not disappoint us because he is the true light. So, a lot of people waste, live their life, and then they turn 60, 70, 80. They realized, I, life deceived me. I wasted my life. Wrong thing. Because it was fake night, thin night. Okay, uh, question 12. What was the response of the world to Jesus? He was in the world and the, the world was made through him. The world did not recognize him. Yeah, so the world did not recognize their creator. Jesus is the one who made all these nations and all these people and gave them life, but they did not recognize the one who gave them life. And okay, about question 13. What was the response of his own people? Verse 11, 
He went to his own, and his own did not receive him. Yeah. Who are his own? Jewish people. Right. Israel. Israel. They did not receive him. They rejected him. You know the Gentile world. Okay, they don't have the word of God and they did not recognize Creator God. But Israel people, they had the word, they had the Bible, and they saw all the miracles. But they did not receive him, they rejected him. Question 14. What did Jesus give to those who received him and believed in his name? So can you read the verse 12 and 13? Yes. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gives the right to become children of God, children born not of, not of nature descent, nor of human decision or husband's will, but born of God. There were people who received Jesus, who believed in his name. So, God's people, the Jewish people, rejected Jesus. So then, where did the gospel spread? Gentile. to Gentile world. The gospel message is went to China yeah. and reached your mom. Gospel message reached Korea and I received the, the name of Jesus. And then Brother Roman, gospel message reached America. Yeah, it spread and how people go sleep. <laughs> we we uh gospel message somehow uh Jesus name came to us and then Jesus gave Okay, but those who received his name, who believed, in his name. Yeah. Jesus gave them the right to become children of God. The right to become children. So, we receive citizenship. We receive a birth certificate. We are born into God's children. So when we are born into God's children, who take care of us? Heavenly Father. Right. Heavenly Father take care of us as own son, as own daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is amazing blessing, amazing blessing. So this is coming from heaven. When we, in our heart, we believe Jesus, he's coming from heaven. Not by, not by husband will, not by parents will, not by, not by own will, no, nothing. It all comes from, from God. We just uh, 
believing, accepting Jesus' name, we receive so much blessings, so much amazing blessings. Just Jesus' name alone. Amazing blessings. Okay, question 15. So, what blessings did Jesus bring to us when we believe his name or accept his name? Verse 14. Can you read the, one verse? Yeah, 14. The world became flesh and the name with his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from Father, full of grace and truth. Yeah, so grace, Jesus brought to us, truth, Jesus gave us, and then glory. Okay, verse 15. What else is it? 16. All in his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace already given. Verse 16. One blessing after another. One blessing after another. One blessing after another. We receive a lot of spiritual blessing. A lot of. I mean, until this morning, I didn't know what to teach. So I really pray, pray, pray. So uh, Jesus helped me to prepare this Bible study. This is one blessing after another blessing. Continuously, until we die, we receive this blessing and another one and another one and so we endlessly grow in the image of uh, Jesus. Uh, 17, verse 17. Grace and truth. Yeah, grace, truth. And then uh, verse 18. What is that? We can see, see we God. can see God. <coughs> we can see God through Jesus. Jesus said, whoever has seen me has seen God. So God is a spirit. And we really don't know. But when we see Jesus, we look at what he did, what he said, that we see, we see God. So, I made the chart, I made the chart and uh, summarized this prologue. Uh, mm -hmm. Summarize this prologue. Uh, I'll give you later on, let's oh. keep one to shape of the time. Well, okay. Uh, the word God in the beginning became flesh and he brought grace, truth, glory, true life and true light. But darkness, people in darkness, lost the image of God, impaired perception, has not understood. God sent witness, John, and God has given more revelation about Jesus to John, so he can testify. Then, whoever accepts Jesus, God gave the right to become children of God. So, I summarize the today's Bible study like this. 
All right. Today Bible study is up to here and then we will share